everyone welcome back to another video i hope you're all doing really well so i haven't filmed in a couple of weeks now i'm gonna get this bit out of the way because i don't want to get too upset but we lost our family cat bill a couple of weeks ago uh so that's been really tough he was a part of our family for 15 years and we got him as a kitten with his sister bon bon so yeah, so it's been yeah, a really difficult couple of weeks recently, which is why I haven't filmed. I think anyone that's lost a childhood pet will understand how difficult and how upsetting it is. But I've spent the last couple of weeks preparing for my upcoming Christmas market period. I also reopened my Etsy shop and I've received a bunch of orders, which I'm really grateful for. My small business has been a great distraction recently and I'm really grateful to everyone that's ordered something for my Etsy shop because it's really put a smile on my face this last couple of weeks. So like I say, been very busy preparing for the busy Christmas period. I've actually got a market this Sunday, Craft and Flea in Walthamstow. And if it's anything to go by, it should be a really good one. My first event with Craft and Flea was actually the Walthamstow Christmas market and it was unbelievable. So I've been super super busy getting ready for that, churning out loads and loads of products. So this week's video is going to be Christmas market prep video which I've been really excited to film. So yeah the last couple of weeks has been really really hectic, I've been churning out loads of products, I've had to order new business cards, loads of bags, trying to figure out how I'm going to make the most of the Christmas period at market. So we're going to kick start with doing a dummy test of my market stall. When it comes to markets I always struggle to visualise if I have enough stuff to fill up my market stall and then replace anything if it does sell. Because it has happened a couple of times I think yeah I've got a lot of stuff and then I go to market I lay it all out on the table I'm like oh bit gappy we could probably do some more products. So we're going to test drive market stall. So we're dealing with roughly similar size table to the one I'd have at a market. I'm going to say this is a five foot table. I'm, I mean, I'm not going to lie down on it because I'm five foot eight, I think. Maybe five nine, but I'm not going to lie down to measure the table. I think the one I get at Walthamstow is a six foot one. So we might just have to squeeze everything in slightly, but it's just a good way for me to see if I do have enough stock because otherwise I think I've got a lot and I'll lay it all out and go, oh, actually I don't have enough. So let's put a test stall market together. I've just moved my ladder shelves over so I can fit in my MDF Christmas tree shelves that I bought from the range. I think I showed you in my last vlog, I think it was 3 99 which I thought was an absolute steal. And it also makes it look a bit more festive as well. So given the table be slightly larger, I'll be able to probably fit that in the middle or maybe in front of the ladder, I'm not sure yet, but it's just a good test to see if I like the layout or not. So this is probably about 45% of everything I have. I actually do have a lot more, I just need to find it because everything's in boxes and all over the place but I will show you everything once I've done the full layout but the two little miniature lamps which I think gives it like a nice warm feeling. Quite liking how my shelves are looking, especially with the little house at the bottom. They'll have little tea lights in but they'll be really cute but like I say I'll show you everything once it's set up. So I can quite confidently say that I probably can't fit much else on this table. I think I'm going to get a couple of extra feet maybe another foot of space which means I can obviously fit a lot more stuff in there. I've put my collapsible storage baskets there because those will be the mix and match ball balls in there so it'll be like you can buy one single or three uh, for a cheaper price but quite happy with my plant pots on there. Vases and a few other bits on this ladder shelf here. Posters and flat lay stuff at the front obviously. I've got ghosts that I need to find space for because I don't know if you remember I bought these clear plastic shelves so I need to fit that in there at some point. This is how we're looking for plant pots at the top and then I've got my houses just here. I'm quite happy with this layout of this shelf. I mean I could probably squeeze these five plant pots together and then maybe have two or something matching either side. These collapsible storage baskets which I absolutely love will be for my baubles. It won't be for the handmade ornaments. I was hoping to flat lay those on the table somewhere if I can find room. I'm sure I will be able to. I think the table is much wider as well so I'll probably have an extra 10 centimetres on the front which doesn't sound like a lot but when you've got to lay stuff out every little helps. And then as an example I've got my Christmas tree MDF display just there. Really love that. Maybe I'll wrap some fairy lights around it but just as an example I've just chucked a ball ball on there in a plant pot. This is by no means the final layout. It's just just so I can see visually what we're working with. I'm also going to be bringing a set of six Muppet baubles. I need to tie the ribbons on these, but hoping to display those perhaps like that. I'm not sure. Flat lane might be better, but I want it to sort of be front and centre because I love them so much. And then 
third one's missing because it's up there, but I've got six, seven, eight of these pre-made sets of three baubles, which I'm hoping to lay out. Perhaps have maybe four vertically, I'm not sure. I've also got the clear plastic shelves to find a home for my little ghosts. I've got more than this, this was just an example, but I'd still want to bring my ghosts even though Halloween's gone, but I think ghosts for all year round. I've got bookmarks I need to find a home for. I've got more small plant pots I need to find a home for. Back here, I've got this Guinness plant pot, which I absolutely love. I made one of these years ago in the market. It was the first thing I sold, so I thought, hey ho, Guinness is quite a festive drink, so I'll make another one of those. Star tea light holders, I need to make a few more of those. We're going with four designs of coasters for this market. These two sets are incomplete, I need to put the backings on those, but these ones all dry with their backings. I've got ribbon around them so I can pack those away. I've got two lobster pots here as well. And I've got this, I mean, it doesn't look massive, but absolutely massive Father Christmas gold plant pot as well. I'm not sure where I'm going to put that. That does take up quite a lot of space. And then we've got the ladder shelves. I'm thinking vases up here just because I think they're better up high so people can see them. Got a new bookshelf on there as well. Festive planters just there. My bud vases. Obviously going to put flowers in those. Muppet Christmas carol box which I'm obsessed with. And then we have all of these baubles. I've still got some drying but all of these baubles in here like it just goes down and down and down I think there's another like two layers in that box I've obviously got my little lamps which I'll turn on but I don't want to do that yet just to save the battery but it's not too dissimilar from the markets sort of set out I've done before but I just wanted to have an idea of how much I have and the fact that I could probably do with two more of these for the pick and mix baubles to go along the front means I think I have more than enough stuff and not like I don't have to put everything on the table like I can have stock spare but I want people to see the full range of everything I have but I'm quite pleased with the amount of stuff I do have also you may have seen in a previous vlog that I did at Wolf and Stowe Craft and Flea my mum came with me and she's coming with me again this time so she is the best person for this she loves interior design she does all these things displays everything like that and she loves it and she did such a good job of my stall last time so I'm hoping she can bring her creativity with her like she always does and make it a bit more aesthetically pleasing. Like, love this, this is great. Not sure about this, but because it's not as uniform as this, it looks a bit more chaotic, but I love chaos. I don't really do two things the same, rarely, 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 unless it's like baubles or boxes, things like that. But yeah, we could do with some more space, but I'm quite pleased with that. I feel like the lack of space I have at the moment of all the stuff I have is a good sign that I do have enough stuff obviously I've got other markets but after this one I'll have a good idea of how much more I need to make but that's a glimpse of everything I've been working on for the last couple of weeks like it's it's been a lot like I've done coasters boxes new plant pots all of this stuff is new I've done a hell of a lot of handmade ornaments baubles as well so yeah quite pleased with it really and now I'm quite confident that I can start packing things away for my market these plant pots I can pack away those houses I can pack away the vases over here I can pack away and that's a good amount of bulky stuff as well it's just less to do on Saturday so if I can get those packed away for market then it's just one less thing to do and think about and then I can perhaps make some more during the week. So about 80% of the stuff is now packed away, I've got it in a suitcase, I've got it in my little pool trolley and I've also made a box of all my market display stuff because I can't physically put that away just yet. Everything you'll see behind me are things that I just need to finish like putting backings on coasters, varnishing some baubles and just stuff like that. I forgot to mention it's now Tuesday in the week, my market's on Sunday. So I feel slightly ahead of the game in terms of packing my stuff away, but there's still a lot of stuff I need to do. But I've still got a few days just to churn out any more products if I need to, or just finish off any last minute items. For example, I've got two sets of these baubles, which I need to put little Christmas trees on, varnish, do the ribbons. And then I've got coasters that I just need to put the court backings on them. I always find when it comes to markets and particularly Christmas markets you almost reach a point and you go you know what I've got enough I've done enough and then it'll be a few days before and you go oh maybe I can do another plant pot or oh, maybe I can do another vase and then it just becomes a bit chaotic. So we're in the chaotic stage at the moment we're, we're trying to churn out a few more things because I'd rather have more than less. So today and tomorrow I'll be finishing off some products and maybe making some new ones but I want 
Thursday to be my cutoff day. And then Thursday, Friday, I can think about doing things like my price signs, trying to figure out where my bags are, charging my card reader, collecting my business cards from the post office, creating an inventory list. So when I do sell something, I could just tick it off the list and then I can see if I need to make more for my next market. But I am really looking forward to this one. Last year was so great. And my mum's coming with me again. She came to the last Craft and Flea in Walthamstow and she did such an amazing job with my store. She was so helpful. I've already started making a list of things I need to remember to pack other than my products and it's small things like pen and paper, inventory list, price tags, scissors, a water bottle, my card reader, things like that, things that I may forget or leave behind. I've said this before and I'll say it again, I always feel like as soon as I get in the car and I'm on my way to a market, as long as I've got products and a method of taking payment, I'm good. Everything else is just a bit of a luxury, but it's a luxury I like to have. Like scissors or a pen and paper. I also need to start putting ribbons on my Muppet Christmas carol set. So cute. I feel like for this market I'm taking just one set I think because I want to have one back up at home just in case I sell it on Etsy. I'm conscious of them falling out but this set I'm going to put in this little candy stripe box with some tissue paper. Again I need to put the ribbons on but just to make it look a bit more aesthetic than the cardboard boxes. But yeah in terms of products I'm feeling good. I'm feeling good. I'm really proud of myself for pulling myself out of a bit of a ditch and just focusing all my energy into my small business. I actually mentioned on my Instagram, my small business turned four last week, I think, which is wild. Considering I started it in lockdown, four years has come around really quickly. So I've said it before and I'll say it again, I love my small business. Unless I really, really have to, I don't think I'll ever give it up. It's my safe space. I love what I do and it's when life throws you a curveball that you're just grateful to have something to again push all your energy into. I think I've got 10% off in my shop at the moment to celebrate turning four and I think I've done that for a week and it should close on Sunday maybe. I need to check but if there's anything you've seen in this video or see on my Etsy, grab it while there's 10% off. I nearly forgot to mention as well, we're nearly at 500 subscribers, which I am over the moon about. Considering I haven't posted a video in the last couple of weeks, I just thought the, the numbers would plummet. But I'm really grateful people have stuck around to watch my videos. So yeah, I'd love to get to 500 by the end of the year. That would just round the year off perfectly. So yeah, really excited for this Sunday's market with Craft and Flea and Walthamstow. I love this venue so much. It's just a fun venue and all the people are just so lovely. I've then got a couple of weeks until my next one, which is more local in Potter's Bar. So it gives me enough time to turn around any extra stock if I need to. And then the weekend after that, so the Saturday 30th of November and Sunday the 1st of December, I'm at the amazing 40 hall i love 40 hall so much it's my favorite place i absolutely adore it i'm sure if you've watched my previous videos you've seen 40 hall before but it's this huge manor house and they just fill it with christmas crafts and small businesses and there's mulled wine there's mince pies there's music and it's just all around good vibes because i see a lot of friendly people that i know as well so november is the month of christmas markets for me and i'm very excited to see how it goes so i will be bringing you along to walthamstow this sunday i'm going to bring my camera along need to add that to the list of things to bring. After the market, I'll also be doing a little run through of how the day went as well. But thank you everyone for hanging around after two weeks of silence. I really do appreciate it. And I love making these videos so much. So I felt like obviously with my Christmas market coming up, now was the right time to sort of jump back into it. If you did love this video, please give it a massive thumbs up. Leave a comment if you want to. And if you're new here, please don't forget to subscribe. And I will see you at my first Christmas market of 2024 in the next video. Mm -hmm.